Shalom, back again. I'd like to say, Brakfa Yahal Bashimashai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the elect worldwide, preaching the gospel in spirit and truth. Yeah. Consistency, consistently and sincerely throughout the four corners of the earth. Brakfa Yahal Bashimashai, Bashim Rakar Kodash. May the Lord show his, his blessing and power and comfort to the sincere one-third men, women and children that are destined to repent. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Hispanics, you guys are the true people of the Bible, God's people, God's holy chosen people, the Israelites. That's your real identity. And he's called you to repentance. For the end of days is at hand, and destruction is at hand, and the kingdom is at hand. And you have to serve the God of Israel, whose name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is not Jesus Christ, but Yahweh Shai in the holy language of Hebrew, whom both we should worship. So now, like again, showing you more news. It's good to go on the news to keep yourself updated. Um, a lot of people in this world, they're very ignorant. Why are they very ignorant? A lot of people, they don't recognize that they're, in, they're living in a war zone. You see, the way they're thinking is, because it's not, like, it's not like Iraq, Syria, Yemen, places like that. They think people in England and America, Babylon, they don't think it will happen to them or it could be th that case. Now, those other countries, those Arab countries or Muslim society countries, they're through. But here's going to be through as well. London's going to be through. America's going to be through. England's going to be through. Yeah. Europe. Various places of Europe. In fact, the whole world is going to be through. It's going to receive some damage. But people are so proud, they can't see it, man. Let's read the title from express.co.uk. Express. Brink of war in capital letters. Brink of war. China strengthens border with North Korea amid imminent USA attack fears. So there's a fear of US attacks. Yeah, and this is prophesied. This these things were prophesied according to the Bible, man. Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, ignorantly, he spoke of these things of war. I'm going to go into it. North Korea, Korea's nuclear crisis has sp sparked frantic preparations from China along the border between the two states, sparking fears the Asian superpower believes America could be on the brink of launching an attack. Now, if it was like a one-on-one, -on -one, America, America and Russia, they're the strongest superpower. Yeah, these are two Edomite nations, Edomites, which is the so-called white people race. They're called Edomites, according to the Bible. Yeah, and their blessing was the sword. Sword meaning what? Um, weaponary, weaponary power. That's their blessing. But at the same time, that's going to be their curse because the Lord's going to destroy them. He's going to make, make them destroy themselves and the Lord's going to bring his own uh, military power against the earth. That's why you see a lot of these movies that the so-called white man makes in these Hollywood movies like Independence Day or Outside of, outside of Threats or um, Alien um, Invasions and stuff like that, which are the holy angels of the Lord and uh, uh, the son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, coming back to destroy this place and establish a new kingdom, which we are waiting for. But yeah. Let's see what the video says. Is we got a pause. Pull out all the stops now. Um, and the fact that Russia is backdooring uh, North Korea and helping them should not be a surprise to anybody. And, and for that matter, if that is significant help, 
the amount of pressure we put on Russia, it means that North Korea will likely ex escape any economic collapse and be able to sustain itself. So which our brings us closer to, yeah, <laughs> to a military option. I think some things we should do is make certain that all the other countries have sh are shut down their trading, make certain that China's doing everything it possibly can, and if they're not, then we should sanction China. Let's take the I'm gloves. I'm so glad you said take that. Take the gloves off. <laughs> These Edomites. One thing they love doing is san sanctioning people, putting people on the spot, and. Would it not be in the interest? Putting people on the spot. <laughs> and declaring war threats on, on those countries, man. And making them look um, like the enemy or the bad people for the entire world, man. That's what Esau likes doing. But listen, who has committed more crimes than Esau, the so-called white man? He is, he's a, a warmonger. First of all, Esau, the so-called white man, he goes to every country, devours, devours their fucking... Devours their minerals, their livestock, their items, all, all useful items. Sucks the life out of it. Yeah, uses, uses it for his own good. Sells it back to them in extortion. It gets, the, gets the, those countries to do slave labor where they're earning peanuts. Every every country he's been into, he's he's raped, robbed, and killed killed them. That's why when you hear these third world countries talk about trying to make it in life, where 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 do they go? No one says, "Oh, I want to go to Syria and make it in life." No, because it's been destroyed. No one says, "I want to go to Iraq." Who says that? I want to go to Africa and make it. No, they talk about America, the American dream, which is Babylon the Great, or even the UK, the mother of Bab Babylon. You see, because Esau has established himself as a great kingdom. No wonder why it's called Babylon the Great. And everyone comes to them, which, which is also going into Revelation 18, man, the merchants. From every every nation comes to Babylon, man, to establish something. But yeah, the war is Im imminent, man. And let's see what the scripture says about it. So let's see what the, uh, the apostles, disciples said to Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, ignorant. Matthew 24 and 3. And it, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Yeah, They wanted to know, what is the end going to be like? How are we going to know? What is going to be the signs to reveal your coming? That we know that we're coming closer to the end. And Yahushai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of false, false prophets. A lot of people saying that they're anointed, but, but really the Lord didn't choose them to do this work. You know, you got Israelites that are teaching false doctrines. Israelites teaching that there's no RFID chip. People saying, Israelites saying, um, Christianity, Christianity is the mark of the beast. Israelites saying what? That heathens, Esau and the rest of the heathens can make it. What kind of rubbish is that, man? Giving false doctrines. See? Verse 6, this is the, the main part I wanted to go, get into. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. Do, are we not witnessing that? Are these are these not rumors of war? Hmm?
Are these not rumors of wars? Imminent, imminent war? Read the title, man. Nuclear crisis, man. Brink of war, China strengthens borders with North Korea amid imminent USA attack fears. So are you saying the scriptures are wrong? No, the scriptures are right. It's been prophesied of these last days. World War Three, the, the war, the war to end all wars, the last war, the war that's going to be that's going to have a high body count, man. Billions of people will die. Not millions. Yeah, not tens of millions, not hundreds of millions, billions. Tried to register that. Walking around with dead bodies. Bodies that are unrecognisable. Dismantled. Heads rolling. Guns blazing. Dark smoke, fog. Nukes hitting randomly in different places and areas. Robbing, stealing, chaos. All of that. Hmm? And you shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So not at that moment. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. So countries versus other countries. Race versus other races. Cla different classes of people. The poor versus the rich. The public versus the government. You know, martial law. Chaos, all of that. And there should be famines, l lackage of food. Perfect time to implement the chip, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, the NFC. Pestilence, diseases, worse than Ebola. People catching flu, viruses unknown and dropping dead like flies. Super contagious. Uncurable. Earthquakes. Like we witnessed last year, I believe. Mexico. Earthquakes reaching great um, magnitudes. Level 8. What if we witness a level 9, level 10 magnitude? Devastating earthquakes. People trapped underground. Sinkholes. All of that. Floods, tsunamis. This is what's coming to the earth, man. Great war and judgment. But only the elect of Israel shall be saved out of it. And the one third also, men, women and children. The Lord has called Israel to repent, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics and those that are scattered throughout the earth. Repent. For judgment is coming on the earth and the kingdom is at hand. With that, Shalom.